What's up everyone? Welcome back to Cunningham Garage. I'm Steve and today I'm going to be showing you the jet ski. Let's get to it. Get down. Turn it up. So let's get right into this, everyone. As you saw in the last video, if you've watched it, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, welcome. This is the kind of stuff I do. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. So back into it. Uh, last video, I was test fitting the body on the scooter. And as you can see, it's pretty much done now. I've uh, actually had it finished for about a week test riding it. A few of you have actually seen me. I didn't know I had a couple local subscribers and you guys have seen me on the road. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, but I'm going to walk you guys through everything on it so far. So as you can see, I put the Cunningham Garage with the YouTube button. And let's walk up to it. So I got it fitted. Made some little metal, you know, steel mounts for it. The side's still dirty. I got glue I gotta get off. And as you guys remember the last video, the seats that were on this, they were purple. So I've had the seats rewrapped. They came out beautiful. Local shop here in Knoxville did it and they did a great job. And the gauges, these are still the uh, scooter handlebars or the steering. And I had to put new switches for the the lights and starter and all that stuff because the ones that were on the scooter were complete crap so that took a while to figure out how to wire all that up because those were they had no wiring diagram nothing matched up it, it took a while so and onto the front so i installed a marine gray gps speedometer so i would not get in trouble because i didn't trust a scooter one and there's the ignition switch so the, it's a GPS speedometer. So on the back, I put that little black thing right there is the GPS receiver for that speedometer. And then above that, and to hide all the, you know, all the cutting I did and stuff like that to fit everything, I just took a piece of sheet metal, wrapped it in like a carbon fiber look, you know, vinyl, and just riveted it onto there. That way it covers it up, it's not bad looking. And then here is a temperature gauge. It's a little funky right now, but it self calibrates when you turn everything on. And it works pretty good. And wow, I did not realize how dirty the front end got. Um, yeah. So here's the headlight. It's a really super bright LED. But I don't have it pointing upward, blinding everyone. I, I hate that. So it's pointing downward to where I can still see, but I'm not you know, annoying. Let me walk around the other side. You can see I cut some holes. I still gotta finish up the sheet metal work to make this all look pretty, but that's where my legs go. <laughs> it looks hilarious. And once again, you can see the whole Cunningham garage. Gotta advertise yourself. But as you can see underneath, scooter just sticks out. And there's a spot where I cut my hole for my legs. I mean, this thing rides. It rides amazing. I have yet to ride a motorcycle that rides as fun. It is, is just so much fun to ride this thing. It's comfortable. It rides smooth. The back end is hilarious. I did stick Uber and Lyft stickers on the rear. <laughs> so you can see the... There's the brake lights and turn signals and a running light and the license plate has its own light. It's awesome. So, the speedometer will self-calibrate. Also changes colors. Yeah, so far I've put 211 miles on the scooter in a week. <laughs> It's, it's been fun. Um, there's a temperature gauge. I'll turn that on. That doesn't read properly. I gotta change. There's a sensor on the engine, a sending unit I gotta change. I thought I could get away with uh, just having the scooter one on there and it's no, no, no likey. So it's reading 
140 C, which is a lot. <laughs> so I just got, it's not overheating. It actually runs really cool. I just got to swap over the, the one that the sending unit that came with that gauge. And now I'll show you guys the, there's the headlight. It doesn't look that bright right now, but at night that thing, like it lights up the road. It, it looks really good. And then let's go around the back. Oh, I've already got lights out. <laughs> yeah, so you can see the license plate's pretty bright. I've got a few LEDs acting up on me. They weren't doing that the other day, then they did it. They're kind of intermittent. So I guess I'll have to change that one strip out. But let me show you guys something really cool. Let me turn these lights off. Check out the, check out the turn signals. So I put integrated, you know, sequential turn signals on it. Or chasing turn signals. I forgot how you call them. They're cool. <laughs> the rear, I was so sad. So all I got on the rear is just that. I was so sad. I had some really cool tail lights. You turn that off. Had some really cool tail lights for the uh, rear. They almost look like Challenger Hellcat tail lights. They were or just Challenger tail lights. It looked amazing. But I got them and they shorted out in 10 minutes. So it was a problem. But yeah, guys, this is the scooter. I'm going to pop the hood real quick so you guys can check out underneath it. So to get to the engine, all you got to do is pop the seat. There's a lever at the back. You just pull up. That's really dirty right there. I guess I didn't clean that. Um, yeah, but the seat just pops up. It's really funny at a gas station when you pull, pull up on a jet ski and uh, pop your seat off to get some gas. People, people look at you crazy. So there's the engine. It's a... Uh, carburetor is brand new because the one that was on there was original and it was crap so i had that one put that one on wiring still looks a little janky but uh i'll be cleaning that up more this thing was surprisingly a pain in the ass to wire up because i had to rewire all the uh turn signals and all that stuff to get it to work but i got it to work seats back on I'm going to give you guys a little running test. So I'm going to turn on the ignition. So you just... Like normal. And then... It's not that loud. It doesn't act all crazy. Let me turn the lights on. Let me give you guys the full... The full-on scooter tour. So this is what you'll see if you pull me up... Pull up at a light. You might see me. If you're if you are local and you see me on the road and you pull up next to me, go ahead and say hi. I don't care. I'll say hi to you and take pictures. I don't. That's what it's built for. Every it's all for fun. That's why we're here. And yes, that is a life jacket I have been wearing because it is hilarious. I I cannot take this thing. I've never ridden anything that has gotten as much attention as this thing does. I can't go anywhere without this thing collecting attention. Let me, uh, let me shut her down real quick. I can't go anywhere without this thing bringing attention to where I have come to this park where no one is. I'm at the very end of the park at a roundabout <laughs> to get away from people. And I've actually had to stop filming like twice because people keep just pulling up on me and asking me questions. I mean. I, I'm in the middle of nowhere and I still can't get away from people. So if, I mean, if you are, you love attention, you love building stuff, this is definitely, definitely something that uh, you'll, no one will leave you alone at all. <laughs> it's really funny. I do enjoy it. I love taking it out. I went to go pay some bills today and it should take me maybe an hour. It took me almost three hours because people kept stopping me. It's, it's really funny. Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. Had to cut it there. Someone pulled up. Had to talk to me for a minute. Of course. So this is what I look like when I'm dressed up. <laughs> Half helmet. 
safety glasses, and a jet ski. So if you see me around, say hi, leave a comment if you like what's going on and you want to know inform more information about it. And if you see me around town and you're a subscriber because of that, put it in the comments, let me know. I'd love to see how many people are local. So until next time, build whatever's in your garage and have some fun. I know I am.